right, all Coastal right, Friends. all right. You. Now, welcome everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Coastal Living on this beautiful day. But you're not Mac. Yeah, I know. Who's this guy? <laughs> Stefan is here sitting in for Mac. Mac is out today. So as I mentioned, we have a surprise guest. I had to, I had to put on the suit today. Surprise host Stefan looking all dapper. Come on. Are you excited to be here? I love it. We're, I feel it inside. Good. We're super excited to have you. So normally you're, he's your favorite beach and surf report guy. And he'll be sitting in today and tomorrow since Mac is out living his dream. We don't Ooh, know what he's doing, but he's going to have to prove it with the doctor's note on Monday. Come on. So we're really excited to have you. Thank you. And we get to see more of you also later in the show. There you go. But you're wearing pink, and it's for a good reason. Real men wear pink. That's right. And we are wearing pink today to raise awareness mm -hmm. for Breast Cancer Awareness right. Month. And mm -hmm. uh, I've had some family members and close friends that have endured that battle. And I'm going to tell you right now, I want to lift everyone up for being strong and that we could just work together and get that strong cure mm -hmm. and just wipe this out of here. But I, the awareness, you yep. know. Absolutely. Raise awareness, it's, raise money for research, so yes. that way we can find a cure and we don't have to worry about the <sighs> silly cancer anymore. Such a tragic road that you have to, you know, everybody. It's a big, it's not just the individual, it's the whole family and then, you know. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a, lot, a lot, lot that people have to endure and we'll be talking more about that as well today. Right. Lots of pink on set and you'll get to see more of that. Now it's also World Mental Health Day, which I think is really important. In fact, I just saw Joker yesterday and it Ooh. really taps into that subject. <laughs> I know Jocelyn will get to talk about that later in our entertainment segment, uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, but mental health is just so important. A lot of people struggle with different things, whether it just be some insecurities that you have or whether it be something that's actually diagnosed to you. So it's right. something we want to raise awareness about, but also encourage you to find help for it if it's something that you struggle with. So I want to know, I did put a post on our Facebook page before the show because I want to know how you guys take care of your own mental health. What do you like to do, Stefan, to make sure that you're just on the up and up well, as much as you can be? I want to say every morning I get up and, and I just look in the mirror and I go, gosh, I have legs, I have eyes, I, I can move. You're awake. Uh, I mean, yeah. I knew Steve Jobs. He died of pancreatic can cancer. Mm -hmm. He was a billionaire. Mm -hmm. You can't buy life. You're only given one day. At you never time. promise the next, so you just embrace it and say, gosh, I got something that you can't even buy. It's priceless. Yep. And then you move forward, mm -hmm. and you set goals, and you try to achieve those goals, and you don't get discouraged because it's small, accompl uh, excuse me, small accomplishments to a big goal. Exactly. And so you have to just, you know. Yeah embrace the seconds exactly and Don't that's one of the things it. when i'm googling <clears throat> ways to take care of your own mental health is taking one thing one moment at a time so i find myself doing that a lot when i have a really busy overwhelming schedule and i know right. there's a hundred things to do in the day and people are like you're so busy how do you stay on top of it and i'm like i take it one minute and one hour at a time that's it so that i don't get overwhelmed absolutely and not only that but there's things like exercise which release <sighs> endorphins and the i've yard. mentioned this many <laughs> times but getting something done setting right. a goal and finishing it hey i did the yard today i spent some quality time with my children today and it's not always about yourself either sometimes it's the act of doing something nice for someone else that gives you a sense of gratitude and that can kind of help your own mental health to reassure yourself that you're a good person, you have good intentions, and you're doing selfless acts for other people. That's exactly how I feel because yeah. my biggest thing is if you can make somebody smile, yes, you're getting so much of the reward. A lot of times we focus on just smiling ourselves, but mm -hmm. just go out there and give somebody some happiness, something to grab onto, and it, it's such a rewarding feeling inside and, and, and just energizing. Mm -hmm. You know, I love to make people smile. I know you do too. You're so smart and I'm funny. Goofy. I like to be goofy <laughs> because sometimes, yeah, just... Making people like forcing a smile on someone. That's how I get people to like me. I'm like, just smile, just smile with me, do this. And another thing I like to challenge people to do, and it sounds so weird, but it was like kind of a awakening for me when I first tried it, is like you spend every day looking at other people and you check yourself out in the mirror to make sure that you look good and you're good for the day, but you don't ever look at yourself and acknowledge yourself as a person that exists right. in this world. Yes. So the mirror is just a reflection right. and you'll never get to see yourself face to face. Ever. But when you look into the mirror, try to have a conversation with yourself and express gratitude for who you are, the things that you've accomplished. You can write down a list, but I've had moments where I stop and I look myself in the eyes and have a conversation with myself as if I'm someone else. Absolutely. And try to talk to myself in an encouraging way, the way that I find it easy to tell you or anyone else that they're good people. So I think that that's a healthy practice to take yes. care of your own mental health for absolutely sure. yeah and also we're going to start this new thing on the show birthdays Happy when's your birthday? birthday my birthday is november 16th so it's coming up yeah nice Scorpio. i just had mine 
we have Mac's birthday coming up soon, but we want to give a very special happy birthday shout out to Christopher Aranda. Yeah, Christopher. There he is, little Woo. precious boy. Oh He's my goodness. three years old. His mom says that he watches every single day and he loves coastal living. So I'm, I think it's interesting that a three-year-old finds our topics entertaining. It is. He it loves is. our interviews. It's amazing. He loves our segments. He learned how to make cupcakes. So Christopher, we hope you just have the most amazing birthday yeah, and we love you so much. Big shout out to you. Phew. And if you're watching and someone you Happy love birthday, or maybe Chris. yourself has a birthday, make sure you message us at Coastal Living TV on Facebook or Instagram so we can give you a shout out. Do, 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 do. All right. Up next, the Corpus Christi Hooks are here and they're telling us about a huge birthday bash. Speaking of birthdays, stick around to find out more. We'll be right back. You're watching Coastal Living on KZTV, the only lifestyle show made in the Coastal Bend for the Coastal Bend. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.